Welcome back, friends. This is episode 14 of my Saving Southampton Football Manager Save. To open up the episode, we have a quick look at our development center, and here are our current players out on loan. Smallbone is having a great start to MLS with three assists and four goals in 15 appearances. Our under-23 squad, Watts is playing great. I just need to find time for him on the first team. And our under-18 squad is looking great, about five or six players that have great-looking potential. We are coming off our best run of form and Castiles was rewarded with being named to the Premier League Team of the Week. And we're suffering so many injuries right now and we've just added another one as Adams has gone down with a training injury and he's expected to miss nine days to three weeks. Our players are starting to be recognized for their ability and being called up for international duty. Cunningham has been called up for the Ireland squad. Uh, Obefemi and Ferry were called up for the under 21 Ireland squad and Turkey has called up Yaziki, and now Castiles has been called up for Belgium, which is impressive, to say the least. So another training injury as off-injured Tyrone Mings is down again as we lose him for three to four weeks with a hernia injury. So the first match of the episode sees us take on Aston Villa at St. Mary's Stadium. Villa will be without Grealish, so that's a huge advantage for us. Shea Adams, Mings, and Yaziki will be out for us. Brenner finished second place for Premier League Young Player of the Month, only behind Sandro Tonali for, from Arsenal, so great signs to see him performing in the Premier League so quick. And I finished in third place for Manager of the Month. We played three matches and won all three. Nice to be getting recognized after being sacked by Tottenham so quick. Our manager rating is now sitting at A-, minus, and the board is loving it. Our dressing room atmosphere is excellent, and we have very good managerial support for the time being. Bertrand, Ward Prowse, and Romeu are our team leaders. We take a quick look at our fitness report and our guys are starting to recover and we need them back as soon as possible. Yaziki is still a ways off from playing. And here is our lineup as we get ready to take on Villa, Brenner, Redman, Dejinipo, El Yunusi, Ward Prowse, Vera, Bertrand, Vestigard, Bednarak, Walker Peters, and Castiles in goal. So Redman launches a pass across the pitch to Walker Peters who dribbles into the box and scores even though the keeper got his arm on the ball. Walker Peters wins another player of the match award after one goal and four key passes on his way to an 8.5 rating. Walker Peters also earns himself a spot on this week's team of the week. So Shea Adams is back to full training so that's good news and Yaziki will be back in a couple of days. We are the favorites as we head to Ellen Road to take on Leeds. They will be without Bamford which is good news for us. Our lineup for Leeds is Brenner, Adams, Jinnipo, Sinistera, Ward Prowse, Vera, Bertrand, Vestigard, Bednarak, Walker Peters, and Castiles. Sinistera gave Southampton the lead with a close range finish in the bottom right corner in the 57th minute to make it 1 0 Southampton, and then Brenner doubled Southampton's lead with a deftly executed finish from close range on 75 minutes. Experienced striker Rodrigo pulled one back for Leeds after 85 minutes with a finish that found its target via the post after a breakaway run to make it 2-1. And then Rodrigo then scored again in injury time to snatch the equalizer for Leeds and to make it 2-2 and leave Southampton with only a point from the match. So disappointing for this result as we end in a 2-2 draw, Shea Adams picks up the player of the match and that's now 10 unbeaten for us with seven clean sheets. The guys are playing amazing. We now lose Lindulu for the next four to five weeks to a hernia injury and Shea Adams bags himself a place on the team of the week for the first time this season. And now the board have placed an embargo on all transfer activity until an outcome of the pending takeover is resolved. So the group that is debating taking over Southampton is now saying that they will appoint their own manager if they take over the team. So that is terrible news. Uh, Redmond is the one to go down this time. We lose him for five to 11 days with a pulled groin. And once again, we are the favorites as we take on Wolves, who look like they will be without Jimenez. Mings is healed up, but who knows for how long with his injury history he's had for us. And here's our lineup for Wolves. Brenner, Adams, Yaziki, Sinistera, Ward Prowse, Vera, Bertrand, Mings, Bednarak, Walker Peters, and Castillo. In a low key affair, this one ends in a scoreless draw. Castillo's did have a great game with seven saves. But that's about all that happened in this one. So they hold out for a draw and we try to move on. 
Next up on the schedule is our Carabao Cup match against Blackburn. We're going to feel the weaker side since we have a Premier League match just a couple of days after. Castiles finds his place on the team of the week again. He has been such a great addition to the team. And our lineup against Blackburn, Long, Redman, Jinapo, Sinistera, Romeu, Yaziki, Bertrand, Ming, Stevens, Salaby, and Gunn in goal. So Joe Rothwell gave Blackburn the lead with a finish from close range in the 16th minute to make it 1-0. And then Mir then doubled Blackburn's lead with a close range volley, which hit the inside of the post in line of the 68th minute to make it 2-1, 2-0. Uh, and then Jinapo was our best performer, but it wasn't enough to advance on the day uh, he grabs himself a goal in this one. So disappointing result, and we are now out of the Carabao Cup. So we're here, headed to Tottenham Stadium for a big Premier League match. Spurs will be without Alderweireld, Lamella, and Reggion. Our lineup is Brenner, El Yanusi, Yazici, Jinapo, Ward Prowse, Vera, Bertrand, Mings, Bednarak, Walker Peters, and Castiles. We go down to Spurs in disappointing fashion. No one played as well as they should. Harvey Barnes gave Tottenham the lead with a finish from close range in the 65th minute. We had the better of the ball, but failed to capitalize on our chances. Now lost Jinapo for 11 days to three weeks, and the injuries just keep piling on. So surprise, surprise, Mings is down again for five to eight days with a bruised thigh. So October did not go as well as September, but we are still in a good place. Next month, we take on Man United, Chelsea, Liverpool, and newly promoted Watford. Tap that like button if you'd like to support the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any episodes. And comment below if you'd like to make any team suggestions. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode.